those of us who live in Northern Ireland were shocked as we saw photos of our iconic mountains of Mourne which famously sweep down to the sea being swept up in flames of fire. And thanks by the way to Davy Finnegan eh, for allowing me to use this amazing photo which he took which captured the moment. And thanks of course to the fire service for their brave efforts in tackling the fire. But as I saw the flames coming from the mountain I couldn't help but think of what the site must have looked like as Lot and his family fled from Sodom and Gomorrah and as the flames engulfed those cities. Now the expression to burn your bridges means to take a course of action from which there is no retreat or turning back. And what was happening here was this, that Lot's family were in a place which they really should not have been. And God had mercy on them and he was graciously burning their bridges behind them. It was all going up in smoke, no turning back, and God was giving them an opportunity for a brand new start. But Lot's wife, as we know, looked back and became a pillar of salt. The implication is that she looked back still with desires in her heart for the place from which God was setting them free. Sometimes we too look back to places and situations and habits and sins that God has set us free from. I have a feeling it may even be happening to someone who is even watching this this morning. And I want to encourage you today that God has burnt those bridges behind you. He has gloriously set you free. Stand fast then in the liberty wherewith Christ has set you free. And don't be entangled again in the yoke of bondage. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. 